find themselves frustrated at times in their jobs. Sometimes students have the idea they want a job that will always fulfill and never frustrate them. And the reality is that job does not exist on the planet. The work was designed to be purposeful. It feels pointless sometimes. Ecclesiastes is particularly depressing on this note. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. What does man gain by all the toil at which he toils under the sun? We have those moments. Even when we get to where we thought we'd arrive and we ask, what's, what's the point? The work was designed to be purposeful. It feels pointless sometimes. And, and though work was designed to be selfless, it becomes selfish. Exhibit A being the Tower of Babel in Genesis chapter 11. Workers constructing a building to make a name for themselves. And this is the name of the game in the working world, isn't it? It's the motivation behind cutthroat competition. How can I, how can we advance ourselves at the expense of another? How can I construct an identity for myself around my work? The idolatry of work. Where we overvalue work. If we're not careful, we can all end up looking to our job for things that God alone is intended to provide for us. Meaning, joy, identity. Jesus has died on the cross in your place for your sins. He is risen from the dead so that you, so that anyone and everyone who turns from their sin in themselves and trusts in the finished work of Christ, what he has done, is free from every effort to try to attain justification before God, favor with God, trust in the finished work of Christ for you, rest in his work as the only superior work. And then, as you rest in His work, this totally changes the way you view your work. Your ultimate source of joy is not in what you do, but in who you know. Your identity is not found in your profession. Your identity is found in your position in Christ. And so in these ways, in Christ, you are free from looking to your job to try to find what Christ has already purchased for you, ultimate joy and meaning and satisfaction. Will you experience frustration and discouragement, despair at work? Sure you will. It's the reality of work in a sinful world. But just as soon as you do, those realities, let them remind you that work is not your source of meaning and not your source of joy and not your source of satisfaction. Christ is, and He alone can provide what your soul most needs and your soul most desires.